I got uh, curious about it and then I checked on YouTube to see what other farmers are, are, are using drones for on their farms. Definitely not small farms like mine. But um, I fortunately got a friend who has a drone. He actually uses it for construction purposes. So I made him fly the drone over here about four months ago. And then we subjected the images to NVDI. And that actually helped me a lot because by then I was having a fungal attack on the pineapples which I couldn't figure out the source because when you're looking at the field laterally it's difficult to be able to see the various shades of green in the pineapple you just think they're all green but after we, we, we analyze the images we realized some of the fields were dark green whilst others were light green and fortunately when we came on ground to pinpoint the light green areas we realized that those were the areas that had the fungal attack and that was what helped us to save a lot of money we wouldn't As with most things, this is a, this is a change, and the initial the, the initial response from farmers when you mention drones is that, that that's not nothing for us. It's not, not how could that possibly help us in our business? Um, but the great thing about flying a drone with a farmer is they themselves immediately start to say, "Oh, I could use it for this. I could use it for that." Um, getting a, a 50 meter or 100 meter aerial view of your property enlightens the farmer. I mean, things as trivial as border inspection, of fence inspection, of things which would have taken a long, a long time, a lot of effort, or next to impossible for a farmer, suddenly became, become within their reach. But you get a lot of information, so it's I'll turn around, yeah. yeah. Telling about those legs. The use of drones within the agricultural sector is something which is, has been emerging over the past few years uh, in Europe and the States, and uh, proved to have enormous potential. Um, and personally, I, I, I think that this, it is a technology which could be a game changer in, in the domain of precision agriculture in developing countries. And so, hence the interest of, of CTA into looking into this kind of, uh, of technology, uh, expose the youth uh, to, 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 to these opportunities for setting up enterprises serving the farming communities. So this one is a fixed wing drone. Uh, it is mainly uh, conceived to cover large areas. It flies over 80 hectares in 45 minutes. That's the duration of the battery. And actually the main difference also is that it is completely automated. You control it from your laptop using a radio modem. So depending on the farming structure context you have, you are addressing different customers. So it can be agribusiness companies, it can be cooperative, so managing several lands with several farmers able to roll out the service, or it can be small-scale farmers that you would group in order to provide the service. The main objective of that is to make it affordable for the farmer. You won't be moving to the field to fly one hectare, but you will be moving to fly 20, 30, 50, and then you can make economies of scale and make the services useful for them. I, I definitely plan to use drones again, especially when I upscale, because now it's just 12 uh, acres, which is very easy to manage. But if it's about hundreds or thousands of acres, you cannot see everywhere at the same time. So I think in the near future, drones will be what I would use for managing my farm, especially for taking key financial decisions on application of fertilizers and pesticides. 